We're going to start by welcoming to the stage your presenter of the Go Board of Governors Award, acclaimed actress, Kristen Stewart. Yay! Thank you, guys. Um, I just have to say really quick, like, how uh, really grateful I feel to have heard that opening speech. Um, I'm a guest here. I, I was amazing. I'm like really lucky to have heard it. Okay, so uh, Catherine, where are you, dude? I'm doing this for you. Hi. <laughs> um, so the Board of Governors Award is a special award that is not given every year. Uh, it's the only award not determined by the Gala Awards Selection Committee. <clears throat> I'm nervous and out of breath. Uh, this award is bestowed by the Thirst Project's Board of Governors to someone who has demonstrated inspirational leadership, selfless service, and unwavering commitment to the Thirst Project, uh, more than anyone else in the last calendar year. That's also very official. Um, this award recognizes work and service to the Thirst Project. Uh, uh, the Thirst Project marks them as a truly global ambassador of the organization and its mission to end the clean water crisis. Without the, this honoree, the organization truly could not have accomplished what it did in the past calendar year. The award is given to a person in a year when none of the other award categories appropriately convey the deeply profound appreciation and honor of the Board of Governors Award. Catherine, you're a baller. Uh, here's a video about her. <laughs> My name is Nikki Reed. I'm Kate Crash. My name is Diane Warren. I'm Catherine's friend. Kat is a really good friend of mine. You just know when you're working with her that she's trying to make something that's going to matter. She's, she's like a real artist, like a real positive, quirky, fun. Wildly creative and totally nuts and probably uh, the most inspiring person I know. Kat likes to help make the world a better place in any small way she can. Kat doesn't miss an opportunity to give platforms for larger messages. It's important for the Thirst Project to find artists to help uh, carry their message into the world. She, of course, found a way to creatively insert part of the Thirst Project in her film, Miss You Already. Three words to describe Catherine Hardwick. In three words? Ah. God, quirky. Fantastical. Unstoppable. Creative. And passionate. Absolutely effing nuts. It, it doesn't sound lovely, but it is, because she's fierce. Some people call her the bird lady. She used to wear a bird in her hair, a clipped-in bird with a bird nest in her head. Cat, Catherine. Cat, congratulations. Congrats. This is fucking cool. Congratulations. From Mary and I in the bottoms of our heart, congratulations on this well-earned honor. I love you, and I'm so happy that all of these people are with you right now and, and taking a second to recognize all the incredible things you do. I love you. No, 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 are you crazy? I'm happy to do this. I love that woman. I really do. I love that woman. <clears throat> that was cute. She's not that crazy, but she is. Um, no, that was awesome. Um, Catherine Hardwick has shaped our culture as a leading film director, production designer, and screenwriter. Uh, she spent her career breaking barriers. The opening uh, weekend of Twilight was the biggest opening ever, ever for a female director, which I didn't know. Uh, Catherine and her partner Jamie personally funded a well in uh, Swaziland. And in 2005, Catherine used her platform to raise the profile of the water crisis and the work of Thirst Project in an innovative and unprecedented way. Catherine wrote Thirst Project into her film Miss You Already, starring Drew Barrymore and Tony Collette and Dominic Cooper. The film features a scene at the annual Thirst Gala and the Thirst Project CEO, Seth Maxwell, talking to guests about the global water crisis, which he does very well. Um, <clears throat> for, all, for all these things and more, the Thirst Project Board of Governors is proud to honor Catherine Hardwick with the 2016 Governor's Award. Kristen, that's so nice to come and do this. And thank you for all my friends up there. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Um, 
So I'm just very honored to be included in this beautiful evening. And, you know, Seth and everybody here has done so much. Um, I guess I wanted to talk a little bit, too, about the events that happened this weekend in Orlando, that all the violence and hate in this world is so overwhelming. And every day we just wonder, can we make any kind of a difference? And what thirst gives us is a simple, concrete way to change lives. That we, we donated money for a well in Swaziland. It was built, and then Seth sent us a video of the kids drinking clean water from that well, saying, thank you, Catherine and Jamie. <laughs> it was super cool. It's so simple, and it's so powerful. And as filmmakers, we can help tell these stories of our global community. Like, I was at Sundance Labs yesterday, and Am I talking the right distance from the microphone? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, so I was at Sundance Labs yesterday in Utah, and we had filmmakers from all around the world. And one script is set in Zambia, one's in northern India. And I was just thinking, like, if a little girl in Swaziland has clean water to drink, maybe someday she'll have a chance to make a film or write a song or a book and tell her story to the world. So everybody here can actively help change the world, and that's why we're all here, and thank you guys for being generous and part of this fabulous organization. <laughs>